sketched out. The wow. Wow. The guy who did this one freehanded the whole thing. You can tell that guy like works yes. on huge arm pieces. I've been trying to get a tattoo from him for six years. Yeah. What? I've been able to get it. <laughs> The car got it first. Genius. <laughs> okay, yo, so, I thought this was a wrap, but Danny just told us like there was a. a well, it's a wrap. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a wrap. But then, uh, like, if you look closely, this this is all original work done by varied artists from a tattoo show that they ha held last week in Vancouver. So that's why it's like a, a lot of the art is different from each other. Who did that? Yeah. So but it's tattoo inspired, so it's like onis, dragons. This one, you can tell they have their own styles, like tribal. Damn. This one was done by like three different artists, so they collabed on that one. <laughs> what? Car has to that's super so. original. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. I yeah. With the vehicles. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> 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 JJ, is it, is it cool if you explain a little bit about the tattoo? Absolutely. The, so, the artwork on this thing? So, um, the tattoo convention, the Vancouver Tattoo and Cultural Show. Which happened last just week, wrapped right? up. Yeah, wrapped yeah. up a week ago. Um, fantastic show. Yeah. We had our filthy booth there. And, it draws and we were, a whole variety of different oh, artists great. from uh, all, all over. Yeah. Great. Oceania, Asia. Yep. We have uh, artists from Tahiti, from Europe, yeah. North America, obviously, right? Yeah. And of course, in Vancouver, one of the standard like traditional amazing tattoo artist is the Dutchman yeah he's been around since forever so I was in high school which is ages ago right yeah, yeah. he decided to do a beautiful piece on our 458 door that's amazing I just love it honestly yeah. and then and then after him then came another artist another artist everyone's contributing small panels little little spots I mean look yeah. at this is like the oh, right. right? And it was on, you just led them to the, and then the kids. The, creative freedom. the kids, grab yeah. a Sharpie. You can check out the back. Yeah. Just draw on and stuff. Dutchman's little cool. daughter, yeah, six year old yeah. daughter, drawing on it. It's like Yo, amazing. This, that so. makes this that much more like priceless. Oh, it is. You know, it's fun. Yeah. And we're going to be doing the 458, the new Liberty Walk silhouette GT kit on it. Oh my gosh. So we're yeah. going to take all those panels off, put them up in our shop. Yeah. Oh. And then the new kit goes on for SEMA. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's kind of fun. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome, it's really man. cool. Much respect, JJ. Yeah. Techno robot skull. I mean, yeah. give me a break. Yeah, exactly. That's good We're shit. looking at that, man. Yeah, Dude. man. Yeah, man. Yeah, respect what you do, Thank brother. you, my brother. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. you, brother. Thank you so much, man. Of course, man. You enjoy 100%. the rest of the show, okay? Yeah, you as well, brother. Cool. Yo, what up guys? We're here at the garage again, trying to get some fulfilling work done on the FRS. As you can see, the new aim gain bumper is on, but still quite a lot of work to do before I consider this thing anything close to show ready. Uh, into the new inlets for this aim gain one. And I also have to work on the grill as well, but yeah, today we got some wiring to do. Yeah, just to give you a small overview too, the rally bagger actually fits pretty decently on this front bumper, but we did have to bend it a little bit. It kind of goes with this line too though, so looks good. Moji Styles, Andy. What How up, you doing? Dudes? Good, man. Mm. Let's let run. Let me run. I think because he's going to meet Midnight Legends here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> BBT Legend. run. Yo, Phil. Appreciate it, man. Thank no you. Worries, so, Phil's the owner of this beautiful Ford. I've wanted to create these like window vents for my car for the longest time. And I just didn't know how it would attach, but I kind of have a small idea. Again, I'm inspired, and I think I'm gonna create some for my own car. The Seattle boys are back. Yo, Tim, repping the Kim here. It was comfy. It's so comfy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, what are you rapping? <laughs> what am I rapping? What is this? One of one. Yo, that's a nice shirt. Yo. I need one. I need one. Cups of one. hundred and fifty dollars, please. Actually, is that how much it cost? Yeah, right. It was like right. throwaway material. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? This thing's big. Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah. I didn't even know that either. <laughs> hold up! Hold up! <laughs> that works, right? yeah. All right, got several things I'm excited to do for this car and one of them is we have to create our own little inserts uh, And I have an idea. Okay, cuz uh, Eric who's the one that sold me uh, His Instagram is that real car girl if you guys want to give him a follow He's the one that brought me this aim gain bumper all the way from Vancouver 
but he didn't give me the fog lights. So it was after this vlog that I found out all you had to do was turn the stock FRS turn signal lights upside down. Silly me. But for the sake of educational experience, let's continue. So my idea is to create the lens using acrylic and then I'm just gonna fasten a couple of those green LED lights here. Here's the acrylic. So let's quickly figure out the silhouette. Oh, oh no, no. Yeah, thank you, this will work. 1,000, uh, 2,000? Oh, that's, yeah, it's dealing drugs. 2,000, great. Ooh. 2, oh. <laughs> hey, man. That's limited custom. edition. Custom. <laughs> yeah, custom. Custom, <laughs> custom decals. <laughs> Ta-da. Repping the Let's Explore sticker. Go cop yours at kingsmasterads.com. Actually, no, I don't even have the sticker up on there. How do you get the sticker? Yo, I got a new part for this thing too, and it is a tiny steering wheel. This is like a go-kart steering wheel by OMP. And uh, the reason why is because I'm tired of the deep dish, okay? I think it brings the steering wheel a little too close to me. That's why I had to get that signal extender. This is like 320 mil minus like a quarter of the bottom part of it. So let's quickly install this just to see what it looks like. And it fits the theme of the car. So now there's like yellow and gold hints all over. So slowly this thing is coming together again. Now entering the fourth and final phase for the FRS. And I keep saying this, but I'm done. I'm done. Maybe we can replace the energy button, but we're gonna keep the green and the quick release. And we're just gonna transfer this middle part to the other steering wheel. Let's put this in. Right. Feels like a real go kart. But I'll tighten up the screws, make sure everything is fit and snug. And uh, yeah, can't wait to test this out on the road. Cool. Now we can move on to those custom fog light insert lenses. I will always keep these in the car. Let's see what these guys are up to. Are we gonna use spray paint this or something? I'm just gonna wrap it, oh, the whole yeah. thing, so nice. I get smooth. <laughs> All the oh, what? Is it time? Yeah, auto rotate. That's cool. What is that? It's a gimbal. It's, it's not the Z in though. No, it's oh. a Feiyu. AK2000. So you can, this detaches. Yeah. So you can have it on like a wider setup. Oh, that's cool. And the, this part mounts in the middle. Right now I'm going to be cutting out the little frame chicken wire area that goes behind the grill. We're going to be cutting out this shape and it's going to fit right here. Kind of close. Yep. Huh? Which one? What about it? We're gonna tape off all of the green and then we're gonna paint this black. It's the bottom lip part. We're also gonna spray paint this black, spray paint it with some primer and then gloss black. So I've never actually seen this before. I mean, I don't know anyone in their right mind who would buy an aim gain kit and then cut it up right away like this. Finesse it, I put some bondo on some of the places that I overcut. All in all, it looks good. <laughs>
While we wait for this to dry, we can start on the fog light inserts. I still have to cut out the acrylic lenses and also transfer all the Rocket Bunny LED lights and rewire them as well onto the Aimgain bumper, but it just takes time. But we got everything, all the tools we need, so should be okay. Wiring stuff. I need this. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right, this is our solution, okay? Because the Rocket Bunny lights that we have don't actually fit in these. So once I take them out, I'll take one from here. Alright. So this one actually, yeah, look how loose that is, all right? So what we, what we did was we just wrapped washers gloss black, put it in there, and it fits perfect. Look at that. No one can even tell. Kind of just sandwiched it with washers, as you can see. It's okay. Okay guys, everyone's left, it's just me again, and uh, I've been playing around with the lighting. I have no idea if this is even going to work, it's really late, and uh, it's taken me like 40 minutes to uh, splice everything together. I still have to solder it, but here it is, okay? So I added some quick release clips so I can actually take my bumper off if I wanted to. All of this, okay. And here is the setup. Okay, so we got the acrylic piece there as well. Hopefully this all works out. Next task, we're gonna transfer the splitter to the new bumper, uh, except I've pretty much bent most of the screws that are on the bottom of this. So I'm just gonna grind them off. Like I'm gonna have to extend my front splitter. This is not gonna work. Ooh, but I do have an idea. Look at this. So see this indent in the canard? It fits perfectly right there. Okay, except I do not have enough splitter material to make another splitter, so it'll have to wait. I have a lot of work to do. Oh, that would have looked so cool. Yeah, this looks cool already though. So tomorrow I'm gonna grab some more ABS plastic material and then we can continue this, okay? Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed that Lost Vlog. Believe it or not, these were all videos that I was planning on editing and releasing on the Lost Royalty YouTube channel. But this was around the time that I handed the reins off to Simon, aka DerpyFRS. And then he actually started posting more frequently on the channel of 
videos of him working on his MR2 and his Civic and also hanging out with the Lemonade Boys. Then also I transferred all of my files onto this new external hard drive and then I forgot all about these videos. Which brings me to the next point. Think of this as a setup because this video is actually me preparing for our next car show which was happening in Vancouver, Vancouver Driven. And we actually held a booth with our friends from Seattle and also Eliminate. So you guys definitely want to stay tuned for that. And then lately it's just been really cold in Calgary and kind of hard to get anywhere. It's been like this. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. So I've just been catching up with art at home and trying to look for lost vlogs that I can edit for you guys. Appreciate y'all for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video.